Hey guys, my name is Omanoso 143, and today I am back on the Hardcore World. This is episode 5. So, I'm in the Nether. Also, by the way, I'm Alex because my marketplace just isn't working. I can't change to my skin, so I guess you'll just have to deal with me being Alex this episode. Maybe later on it will be changed if it's the next day. But I'm in the Nether because I. I want blaze rods. I want to cure people because I actually got a protection villager. But the problem with the protection villager is that it has. The protection book actually costs 51 emeralds. And if that villager thinks that I'm going to spend that much time cutting down trees to get a protection book, then it's really stupid. I can zombify it so then I can, then I can cure it again. It's a foolproof plan. But you know what may not be a foolproof plan? What I'm going to do right now. So, my plan is, is because I know the cause of an Nether Fortress, I'm going to mine up to Y level 120, and I'm just going to dig a really long tunnel to the cause of the Nether Fortress. And I'm going to dig right into the blaze spawner. I can hear. I can hear a bunch of noises. I hope I don't mine into, like, nether terrain or something. Dude, I can just hear, I can just hear a bit of this. Oh, no. That's not the best. Well, that isn't the best at all. There's a pickling. Okay. Um. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. It's, it sounds like they're just killing hoglins. I want to mine as much quartz as I can. Because that'll be really good for my mending bags. Because obviously I'm going to be digging a really long tunnel. So I'm going to be using up my mending, my durability. So that's why I'm going to always stop whenever I find quartz. I'm going to mine it. Because it's really useful um, for mending. As you can see, my arm is full durability because of that. It's just in the cave. Oh, oh this is a zombie thing, man. Dude, I, I almost hit it. This, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm just gonna probably not record for the rest of the time I'm mining. Unless I find something interesting. So I've reached the right chords, which is um, 1, 2, 3 to 1, 20, 6, 70, and I have a plan. I'm gonna have to dig down 50 blocks to the Y level of. <laughs> Lava. Okay. I'm going to dig down 50 blocks to the Y level of 70, and then I will dig in a straight line all the way to 612. And that will then hopefully bring me straight, straight into the um, fortress. I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> because this could go, this could go terribly wrong. This could go so wrong. Anything could happen. And it, oh my god, another ancient debris. Wow. That's lucky. I will take that. That's... That's nice. Don't know if I, can be, I should be scared or not. Because I can literally hear where the skeletons... I just heard one. I mean, I'm not too worried about the blazes, but the wither skeletons is what I'm worried about. What was that noise? I think I'm going crazy. And also, the only reason my pickaxe hasn't lost all its durability because halfway when I was when I was halfway through my mining, I went <laughs> to go mining in the overworld to get some more diamonds, and I repaired my pickaxe. So, just in case you're wondering, that's quite a lot of course. Yeah, no, just, oh my god. Fortress, right there. No, 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 no,
with a skeleton, with a skeleton, with a skeleton. No. 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 Okay, so I have a new plan. I'm at Y77. I'm, I'm just going to mine. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, which way should I be going? This way. Right here's where I'll be mining. No, wrong way. <laughs> this way. And I'm gonna mine until I reach 625. And then I'll mine down because I know the blaze spawn is here. This is so scary. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. Once I've done this, I can leave. And everything will be fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. See the blazers there, they can't see me. That's good, I don't want them to see me. Yeah, it's right down there. So I should be able to block off the path so the wither skeleton can come and get it. That doesn't look very safe around. It's not safe at all. Build <laughs> three. What's that? Done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Yes! Good. I have blaze rods. Oh, I just killed the blazes. Yes! Yes! I'm good. Shaking so much right now. I gotta kill them fast. But at least um we won't have Wither Skulls coming in. I'm so I'm shaking right now. We're good. This is such bad place mate. I can just leave now. Yes. Dude, the, 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 the rates of the block of the blaze rods are not very good. So I think what I'll do is I will um, stay here for a while, collect up a bunch of blaze rods and then just leave. I'm shaking so much. So I've killed about 20 blazes now and I have 10 blaze rods. And I thought, yeah, that's enough, so I've, I've come back to my base. And now, I can do what I wanted to do. Brewing stand. Let's go. Let's go! We have the brewing stand. And uh, what I want to do now is, um, I haven't actually explained why. Actually, I have. 
I believe I have explained why I need this ring stand. I need weakness potions, and for weakness potions, I need spider eyes and water bottles. I believe you don't need any nether wart, otherwise, if, if you did need nether wart, I've got a nether wart. I believe you don't need nether wart. So, glass, yes, yeah, glass, I have glass. I can do that. I can make myself some water bottles right now. Amazing. I must have left my trident somewhere. Huh. I guess I've now lost my trident forever. Okay, that's great. Maybe it turned into this iron pickaxe, because I have no... I have absolutely no clue where I got the iron pickaxe from. Spider-right, right there. Okay, that's useful. So I believe you just put these in. Put the spider eye in. Is that not how it works? Does it have to be fermented? Have I done something wrong? Do I need nether wart? Oh no, I should probably check Google. So it turns out I did need a fermented spider eye. And with that, it, you need a spider eye, sugar, and mushrooms. So I have spider eye and sugar. But I need mushrooms. And that is why I'm here. I mean, it's literally a mushroom biome. There's mushrooms right here. That's all I needed. Well, while I'm here, I may as well just get some more, just in case I ever need any more again. I just need a few. And then I can just bone meal them whenever I want, put them into these giant mushroom trees. I love this biome. This is probably like one of my favorite biomes in Minecraft. I, don't know, I, I can just get some beef as well. Oh, trident guy. Will it continue? Will I get the trident? Will I get? I want my trident. I lost my trident. Oh no, this is not the best. <laughs> Never mind, I don't really need a trident right now. How did that get... What? How did he throw the trident up there? How is that even possible? How do you do that? What? I'm so confused right now. Anyway. I brought the thing with me. I can now make myself... Wait, I need a crafting table. No, I don't. Fermented spider eye. Put it in here. With my three, my, my three water bottles. Of course, I do need blaze powder. Boom! I'm making potions! I'm cool! Potions of weakness! And I just um, turn it into a splash potion with my gunpowder. And it all works out perfectly. Mm. Splash potion. <laughs> There we go! Three splash potions of weakness. Uh, it took me way too long to get them. You're all gonna die. Oh, you're on your own now? You can't do anything. You can't oh no, I hit the dolphin. I don't want the dolphin attacking me. No! <laughs> no, the dolphin's attacking me! That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry, dolphin. No! Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what texture bag, I'm using its bedrock tweaks. If you're wondering why the, why the grass looks so cool. I love murdering innocent cows. I like killing things. Killing things in Minecraft. You are all going to die a very painful death. Well, I'll kill you with my sword. Oh, look, there's even more. No, it's not. Because I killed them. Oh, look. Come here! No! No! That's a lot of beef. 
I'm never going hungry again. Okay, so... I have gotten myself two golden apples, and I have my weakness potions. And what I want to do now is I'm waiting it for, for it to be night. Because I've sort of set up a zombie trap here. So I'll walk through here. And I'll jump over here. And because the zombies, they're stupid, they think, um... Uh... Whatever this trapdoor <laughs> is a solid block. So they'll just walk right over it. Because they're stupid like that. But I need to get a zombie. Oh! Perfect. Oh, there's another one. They walk right in. Oh, there's too many now. I, I have too many trapped in there. Yeah, just kill the skeleton actually. I only want one. Okay, so we have the zombie trapped. Which is good. That is good, this is going to plan. Now we're just gonna make it. So no one else can go in. The zombie. It's now a zombified villager, yes. There we go. Yes, okay. It's a zombified villager. Gonna splash it with a weakness. Okay, it's curing. Let's go. I have weakness now, that's not ideal. It's shaking. Come on. Cure. Be cured. Come on. Why does it take so long? It takes so long for them to cure. I just want trades to be cheaper. <sighs> it's taking so long. I didn't realize it took this long. <sighs> Please. Please. Does it usually take this long? I swear it doesn't usually this. It, it does not usually take this long. It is working though. Oh, there we go. It's killed. It's killed. It's killed. It's killed. There we go. I block it off. And right, hopefully now the trades are better. I can sleep now. Hopefully it has better trades. There we go. Let's see if it worked. Are your trades cheaper? They are. It's it's half price. Okay. That's good. That's that's a good price. I can still cure it one more time, get it down to 13, which can make it a lot better. But I think for now, I'll stick with 26. Does it, do all the trays get cheaper? Let me just see, because isn't it all the surrounding ones as well? Oh, no. Um, what about Mending Guy? No, okay. I'm fine there, that's fine. So this guy has been zombified and cured. Mission successful.
I think this is where I'm going to end the video, so thank you so much for watching. We've done a lot this episode. So we've... We almost got killed by blazes in the nether. But we got blaze rods. That's really cool. I don't have them on me right now. And... We managed to cure our first villager. Hopefully... I will cure it more in the future. Sorry about the lag. This doesn't... U it's not usually this laggy. It's really annoying. Hopefully... Um, we'll be able to cure it, cure it some more in the future to make the trades even cheaper and be really cool. And I might do some off-camera mining for Neverite um, after this video has been uploaded. So maybe when I come back I'll have Neverite armor. But also something I may do is some on-camera mining. Because the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 update releases in 5 days as to when I'm recording this video. Uh, on the 30th of November. So I'm really excited for that. Maybe episode 6 can be um, exploring the new caves because that will be very cool. I really want to see the new caves because I haven't actually had a chance to see them in Bedrock yet. Because I can't get the betas. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you watched all this way, then um, please consider subscribing because obviously, like, you watched a 20 minute video. So please consider subscribing. And join my Discord server, link in the description if you want to. I want 100 subscribers. Anyway, bye.